In this short session, I will show you how to add audio processing features in your project. In this project, I have a video and an audio track. 10, 9, 8. To use the audio processing effects, I can select this audio segment and then tap on the effects button here. Or, I could simply double tap on the audio segment to bring up the audio effects panel. And for video segments, that have audio segments embedded into them, I can tap on the audio option here, and then tap on the effects option. In this case, the video segment has a mute audio. So I am going to apply the effects on the audio segment. When we tap on the add effect button, it brings up all the audio processing filter options here. I am only going to show you a few of them. The first one is the pitch changer. First, let us see how it sounds without any effect. 10, 9, 8. Okay, now let me increase the pitch. 10, 9, 8, 7. Now let me try decreasing the pitch. 10, 9, 8. Sure. That was a very fun effect to play around with. Let me now try this delay effect. It simply adds a delay to the sound. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7. And we can play around with these parameters. Let me increase the feedback value. 10, 10 9, 10. Eight. Next one I am going to try is Distortion. Distortion has a lot of different options to choose from. Let me try this Echo 1 effect. 10, 9, 8, 7. That was fun. Let us now add this reverberation effect. This one also comes with several different options. Let us try just two of them. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Apart from these, there are many other effects that you can explore. Like this one here, which is a 10-band equalizer. I hope you will enjoy using these effects in your video projects. Thank you for watching.